Former five-term state senator Molly Kelly first sat down with News 9 in March as she considered a run for governor. People in New Hampshire want to be involved. Um, they have a voice, they want it to be heard, they want to be engaged, and they're very concerned about the direction that the state is going. She jumped right in, and in her primary, Kelly picked up endorsements unprecedented in the recent history of the New Hampshire Democratic Party Honor. from Senators oh, Maggie Hassan and Jean Shaheen. One of my uh, first opportunities to serve our state came when then Governor Shaheen appointed me to serve on the New Hampshire Commission on the Status of Women. And I am thankful for your faith in me then and in now. The political watchers expected a close race, but Kelly crushed her opponent and then turned her full attention to the incumbent. Let me send a message to Chris Sununu. Do not underestimate me. I, I've been underestimated before. And as a single mom raising three children, working my way through college, and law school to open doors of possibilities for myself and for my children. On the general election campaign trail, she's made paid family leave, public education funding, and gun control her top priorities. I um, want to build a, a New Hampshire that works for everyone, uh, and not just a few. You know, I'm concerned that uh, that's not happening here in our state, and uh, I want to make sure that everybody has opportunities and policies, and not just a few.